morning, and welcome back to the Vine Morning Show. Here we are on this Thursday morning. I'm Mark. It's great to have you along this morning, and uh, good morning, Pastor Mac. How are you this morning, my Good friend? morning. Doing great. How are you doing today? I'm just fine, and we uh, thank those watching on Vine Television this morning and also on uh, TV, uh, cable TV channel 15 on New Wave. We welcome you watching this morning here on the Vine Morning Show. And it's our pleasure to welcome in Kathy Jo Hutchcraft from Fairfield. Kathy, good morning, and thanks for coming in this morning. It's great to have you on. Good morning, Mark. It's awesome to be here. I This is just amazing because the Vine family has been a wonderful support, so I'm excited to be here this morning. Well, we're excited to have you here, and uh, let's begin with uh, tomorrow, uh, July the 3rd, will mark the one-year anniversary that, that Megan disappeared. Yes. And uh, I know this has been tough on you and your family, but you've got a big event that's going to take place, and it starts tonight in Fairfield. Tell us a little bit about it and what's going to what's going to happen. Okay. Well, first of all, I'll tell you that I was I, I just didn't think I could do this. I had a friend text me. Uh, she's been wonderful support through this uh, whole past year. Just kind of suggested uh, I think we should do a prayer circle and a balloon launch on the third, and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't think emotionally I can do anything, you know, and I really appreciate everything that people do for keeping the awareness going and you know, just the support to me and my family, but it's also hurtful, you know, just Megan is the, the main thing in my mind every day, you know, when I wake up, when I go to sleep and um, it's just a very difficult thing. So I, I'm like, I'll, I'll get back to you on this. And, um, you know, I just kind of discussed it with my husband and bless his heart. He's such a, an amazing support to me. Um, and he came home one morning from work and he said, you know, God just spoke to me. And he's like, we, we need to do this. We need to do it. You know, we are standing firm in our faith in him. He is what's getting us through and we just need to do it. And so uh, we, after some prayerful consideration, I thought, you know, we do need to do this. Yeah. But I, I wanted it to be at a foundation with brothers and sisters in Christ, people who are prayer warriors, who believe in the power of prayer. Mm -hmm. So um, I called up. Brother Benny Tomberlin from First Baptist Church, he is a, he and his wife Sheila, I mean, it would be an understatement to say are like brother and sister to me. I mean, they're just amazing, amazing they're people. They're wonderful pastors. Mm -hmm. Yes, and and I trust their, their advice and their judgment on everything, and they have helped and supported me in this decision to go ahead with it. So tomorrow at the First Baptist Church in Fairfield at 7 o'clock, we are going to gather together for prayer. Um, I, I'm hoping for a big crowd. It'll it'll be wonderful just to have people there. Just it won't take long. I know it's July Fourth weekend, but it would mean so much if people could just come by just to to pray to God and just yes. you know we know He's got the power. He He knows where Megan's at. He's looking down upon her right now and just mm -hmm. to to praise Him for getting us through this. And we are going to release I think a hundred balloons. All right. And um, my friends have put together. They're going to do the balloons and some little flyers that are going to be attached to the balloons. And so th it's going to be a short event. Also, um, I think it's Airbrush and You. There's a, a lady, who, her name is Michelle, and she has offered to do Airbrush uh, green ribbons for anybody who wants a temporary tattoo. That's so, great. Mm -hmm. you know, and <laughs> she just wanted to help yeah. and help raise awareness. And I think those last for like a week. And mm -hmm. it's amazing. Like these little bracelets that we wear, people ask about that. Hey, yeah. what does that stand for? What does that mean? The green ribbons. And so it does bring awareness. So Good. I'm very thankful that she's doing that as well. So she will be there. And starting tonight at the First Baptist Church in the sanctuary, they're going to keep the church open for 24 hours. Awesome. That's from great. 7 o'clock tonight until 7 o'clock leading up to the balloon launch tomorrow mm -hmm. in the prayer circle for people to go in and pray. We want prayers going up for Megan for 24 hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's going to be wonderful. an amazing event. I, I'm excited about it, and I'm excited about what God is doing through mm -hmm. this trial that we're going through. You know, uh, Kathy, you've had so much uh, community support uh, in Fairfield and outlying communities as well. And one thing I've, I've noticed that you had a big support last year was at the Fairfield Fall Fun Fest, Team Megan, yes. the booth there. And, mm -hmm. and you had a lot of visitors there. And But you have a lot of out, outsources that are helping in uh, locating Megan, you've got uh, the uh, children or the uh, Center for Missing and Exploited mm -hmm. Children, the Polly Kloss yeah. organization. There's just so many people that's on board with you, and that that also helps you draw closer to them, and you work with them, and it keeps you strong in your faith in God as well. Most definitely, 
most definitely and you know we had news channels who have been very supportive mm -hmm. uh, they contact me and and text me just to see how i'm doing mm -hmm. i mean wow, it's just it, it's great. amazing how god has puzzled through and just he's put amazing people in my life mm. yeah just it's wonderful because i think i've probably always had mm -hmm. these people and just never realized it and you know megan she is for the people who had the opportunity to know her, mm -hmm. and a lot of our community did, mm -hmm. they they knew Megan from a little girl, and they know that she is an amazing young lady. Mm -hmm. She was on fire for Jesus, and just this is not something that they would any of us would have expected right. for this to have happened to Megan. Mm -hmm. So you know, just knowing who she is, that really brings it home, mm -hmm. and we're like, you know, we we just want to see this little girl to know that she's loved and cared for, and every young lady uh, goes through a moment where they feel like they don't have a friend in the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I honestly believe that Megan was to that point. Uh -huh. You you could just see it. And I recognize the struggles because I went through them when I was her age. Mm -hmm. I go through them as an adult. Yeah. You know, yeah. there sure. are days that you feel so lonely. And, you know, that's just the enemy creeping in and, mm -hmm. and making us doubt everything we believe in. And I believe that that's what happened with Megan. Mm -hmm. And look at how many people love her and mm -hmm. care for her. And are praying for her daily. Yes. 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 And the moment she comes home, she's going to be surrounded. I, I just. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I can't wait, obviously, yeah. for so many reasons. <laughs> yeah. Sure. But also just to say, look at mm -hmm. who has been. Look at these messages. How look many people, people love you? Have been asking about you, praying. Yeah praying for you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, amazing support and encouragement. You know, speaking of support and encouragement, the, the first place you can go to for that, Mac and, and Kathy, is the Bible. And, yes. and what's some of your scriptures that you've gone to to get you through the situations that you, you're going through? And there's so many scriptures out there mm -hmm. that you can share with us, I'm sure. Oh yeah, and I, I could be here all night with just the things um, that God has shown me. I actually started writing things down and just ways that he has brought me through this and carried me through this. It's amazing. And it started before sh she even disappeared. Mm -hmm. uh, I was reading one night in Job, and the chapter were like, bad news, bad news, bad news. He was yeah. losing everything, everything. Uh -huh. And you know, I was actually in a devotional is what I was doing, but Job was the chapters I was reading. And in the devotional, it explained that we are to praise God in all circumstances, no matter what we're going through. You know, we sing about doing that. Yeah. We talk about doing that. But I just thought to myself, you know, <laughs> if I hit my head on something, I don't exactly think about praising God for <laughs> it. But right. <laughs> so, and that's something very minor. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and I was just praying and just thinking in my mind, you know, praising God in your darkest hour. I mean, losing my child would be my darkest hour. Yeah. Would I be the kind of person that could stand up and praise him? Oh. in that kind of hurt and that takes faith you know yes. that's that's a faith mm, statement saying god you know in the midst of this i'm still gonna praise you because i know lord that that you know all that you're in control god and and oh man that's that's powerful and it's also god yeah. that had me reading that very devotion those yeah. very verses mm -hmm. and it was like two or three days before her actual disappearance wow so on the night that she disappeared, when I went upstairs to kiss her goodnight and I and discovered that she was gone, of course, panic strikes. Yeah. Sure, you hit panic. Sure. You know, some things had led up to this that I, I knew mm -hmm. what was happening. I believe God prepared me that this was a long haul. This right. was not going to, she's going to be gone a couple of hours. I just felt in my heart, this is going to be a long haul. And I started rushing down the stairs and the Holy Spirit just hit me. Bam. Go back to Job. Yes. Do you remember what you asked? Are you going to be the person that will praise me and trust me mm -hmm. in all circumstances? So that has been one of my favorite verses is how Job you know, it talked about him tearing his robe. And, yeah. you know, but in his anger, he did not sin. And he, he still praised God. Praise the name of Yahweh. The Praying Lord gives, the Lord Amen. takes away. Amen. Amen. And that reminds me, uh, just actually, just this last Sunday in the sermon, I I, uh, I spoke of a, a scripture in Job where he said, "I've I've heard about the Lord, but now my eyes have seen you." And it was towards the, the end, right before restoration, you know, and, and it says right after that, it says, then God uh, restored unto Job everything that was that was taken, you know, plus some. But I love how how Job worded that. You know, it's like we can we can hear about God and we can hear of him and we can know of him. But only when we go through these these things like this, do we actually see him? You know what I mean? To right. where he, he truly is. 
um, a parent, and, and he, he truly is uh, uh, alive and working in your life and in the situation. And, and that's another thing that's so encouraging to know is that nothing takes him by surprise. And, you know, that, to know that, that uh, it's got to be comforting to know that even before that, God prepared you. He began yes. to prepare you for when, when, you know, she did disappear and, and you realize that immediately he reminded you of that preparation time. And so that, that's encouraging to know. And I'll tell you what, we are, we're praying and, and we're mm-hmm. going to continue uh, praying and standing with you. And then we're also going to rejoice when, when she comes home yes. with you too. <laughs> we're going to be happy and and I'm ready. Yes. Yes. I'm so ready. And you know, those that will be watching on uh, on Vine Television and uh, on our YouTube channel, guys, as we're showing some pictures of Megan on the screen right now, uh, Kathy, she's a beautiful young lady. Yeah, and she is. And she is just so beautiful, and she's full of laughter and energy in these pictures that uh, that are scrolling and that our viewers will be able to see when you tune in. And uh, you're looking forward to seeing that smiling face oh, when yes. she comes home again, right? Yes, Amen. I am. I am. <laughs> That's one thing I saw, uh, that I've always noticed, you know, ever since um, I, I began seeing the pictures and all this, is that light in her eyes. The one thing the pictures don't capture is, capture is her goofiness. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, she, if, if she's in the room, you've got entertainment. Yeah. She is just a life, and she's the life in our home. And, uh-huh. you know, right now, I spend a lot of time at, alone at home because my husband works uh, like third shift hours, so he sleeps sure. during the day, and yeah. during the night he's gone. Um, I'm thankful for my, my cats and my dog. They do yeah. keep me some company. Yeah. But she just, it's like, wow, this house, it needs Megan. It needs her. It, yeah. You know, I'm... I'm just, I'm nothing without her in so many ways. Um, you know, not only do you have so much support locally, but you're probably getting so much support throughout the country from people that you're mm-hmm. hearing from. Oh, there's people that, that text me that I really don't even know. No, I was going <laughs> to ask you. Yeah. If you know these, yeah, exactly. I feel terrible because some of them, I mean, we could have some pretty in-depth conversations. I mean, I'm careful with what I share, especially if I don't truly know the people. But yeah. usually the conversation is just thinking about you, praying for you things like that and I added so many people on my Facebook at the beginning of this and onto yeah. my phone and now I'm like okay yeah how did I meet you yeah. I, I forget <laughs> or I'll see someone in in town and they're like I'm praying for you Kathy and I'll have a conversation with them and I'm I don't know who that was yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. And, and you know the thing is you don't know who they are but there's so there's so much encouragement in yes. and, and, and in situations yeah. like that that you don't know have to know who they are and it doesn't matter it, it's so powerful that their response to you is so encouraging. God has placed them in my life. Amen. And yeah. for, you know, whatever the reason may be. And the things that people do, it can be as simple as just looking at me and smiling. Mm-hmm. You just, I, I know the smile. I know when they're thinking of Megan, yeah. but they don't want to say anything because what can you say to right. a parent who's going through this? Yeah. Um, it's really changed my view on mm-hmm. what do you say to someone who's lost a loved one? You mm-hmm. know, it just completely changes it. Or the people that's went absolutely above and beyond and just done. It doesn't matter what they've done for me. It mm-hmm. means the world to me. Mm-hmm. And I, I couldn't sit here and list them because yeah. I wouldn't get them all. And I don't want to leave anybody out. They've just, the community, the people, and the things that God has brought us to. Mm-hmm. I, the, the concert that we had with, with Mark Scholl, yes, Shiny in December. Favor, yeah. and yeah. Lindsay, wonderful encouragement yeah. to us. And uh, we are still somewhat in contact with finding favor every now and then we'll mm-hmm. get messages that they are continuing to pray and and that type of thing and that music has just absolutely it has been a blessing mm-hmm. sometimes i go home and i just you know put in my my earbuds and i'll just sing it you know really yeah. really upsets my dog but, <laughs> <laughs> but you know just <laughs> god gets me through you know that way if yeah. i can handle it in no other way Sometimes you don't know what to pray. I just sing out to him. Yes, you know, that's so good. Sing to God. I just tear stream down because as I was sharing with Mark, I'm, I'm not a strong person. God is strong. He is getting me through this. Mm-hmm. Last night I sat at home and just sobbed. I just sobbed. I, I was praying and it just, I just sobbed. Yeah. And, you know, like, I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. Mm-hmm. You know? Sure. Um, Megan was just my mini me. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, we were best friends. We did everything together. So it, it's just a, such an emptiness there. Yeah. But 
uh, Megan is a Christian, mm -hmm. and ultimately I'm going to see her again one way or the yes. other. Amen. It's up yes. to God Amen. when I see her again, yeah. and I believe it'll be in this lifetime. Amen. But that that is God's decision. He is using this mm -hmm. to touch so many lives. And I was gonna I was gonna say that uh, you yeah. you took the words right out of my mouth. You're exactly right. And if this is what God wants me to do, then I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. I want Him to use me. I want to be used, and you yeah. know I just want to live a life that's glorifying to Him, because. I make my own decisions. I, I mess up quite a bit. And you know, there's... We all do. <laughs> we all do. We all do. And you know, Kathy, you're such an inspiration to so many people out mm -hmm. there by what the, what this situation has uh, has come forward with. And, and uh, you know, there there's probably other parents out there that have a similar situation going on that don't know where to turn to for strength. And that's where you can come in because they may not be a Christian and if they contact you, you can give them scriptures in the Bible yes. that they can refer to and go back to help them get through a situation that they're going through with. I don't know how anyone could get through this without oh, faith yeah. in God. Amen. I, I do not, because as a Christian, I've had very low moments yeah. in this past year, mm -hmm. very low. And there was one time I was laying on the couch, and I could just feel the heaviness. Mm -hmm. I know it was the enemy, yeah. you know, just yeah. pushing me down, saying, give it up, yeah. just mm -hmm. end it, give it mm -hmm. up. You know, and I know that's not right, and in my head I'm praying, but I could not pray. I couldn't get myself to move from that couch. And yeah. my, my husband was just like, honey, you can... You can sit here and let the enemy tear you down, mm -hmm. or you can get up and pray with me, Yeah, and we're going to go with what God wants us to yes. do and fight this. And, you know, once you pray and you talk to him, he gives you the strength that you need. He, he gives you Boy. just that that boost to, to go another day, just mm -hmm. to get up and go. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, there are there are people I, w I would love to be able to, to talk to. Um, I have a nephew that... I lost to leukemia when I was a, I was young. This mm -hmm. was back in 1991, and I was a new Christian. So it's like right off I had, you know, faith, boom. You know, I'm like, why, why did you do this, God? You know, he's a little boy. He was two. What, you know, why did you have to take him? Because I just believed God was going to heal him. But what I would say to someone who has any difficult situation to go through, um, whether it's finances, something as, as minimal as that, or something as major as like a terminal illness, a sick child, mm -hmm. when you you don't know where your hope is for tomorrow. That's right. Don't worry so much about, I mean, of course we have to prepare, but don't concentrate so much on the future and fixing your problem that you miss living today and cherishing those moments. That's good, you know, with, yes. With my little nephew, uh, I worried so much about, well, what can we do to help him live? What can, and I, I just wish I would have cherished more of that time I had with him yeah. because mm -hmm. he was happy. He yeah. didn't worry about yeah. about the future, you know. He was sure. he was fine playing with Auntie Kathy, you yeah. know. <laughs> so that would be something that I would I would say to encourage someone that's going through even the the most dreadful times is just really enjoy that. You know, back in last year, the last time I hugged my daughter, if I knew that was going to be our last hug, yeah, I would have. I would have just slowed down and just taken it all in. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't I don't remember it just like it was yesterday. Yeah. You know, yeah. in fact, this is how Megan and I worked. She I was getting ready to go back to my friend's house to take them home and she goes, Well, when are you gonna be home? And I said, I should be only like an hour, I'll be right back. And she goes, Well, I love you and I said, I love you too and this was not unusual for us. Right. So I didn't see anything weird. She went to hug me and accidentally hit me in the face, so we just <laughs> hugged and laughed for for a couple of minutes there. Uh -huh. And then I rushed out the door and I'm like, if I just stayed, if I, you know, but we can't concentrate on the past. Right. Mm -hmm. It's right. just going to bring discouragement. We've got to right. look forward, look forward, look toward God and look toward the cross and, yes. and yeah. not worry about, you know, changing things. But if you have your loved ones with you now, mm -hmm. cherish them, cherish every moment with them. Amen. Cherish those yeah. messy houses and those, yeah. <laughs> you know. Amen. The, <laughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly, That's all of right. it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I work at the Kitty College in, in Fairfield, and uh, with my health, I'm only able to work just a little bit. But that those children are a blessing to me. Oh, they yeah. are a blessing. I, I work with the one-year-olds, and yes, they get messy, and yes, they <laughs> they frustrate you, but yeah. I love those hugs, you know, yeah, and sometimes sure. I'm like, I come here for the hugs. <laughs> I need those hugs. <laughs> there you hugs. go. That's right. <laughs> oh. Exactly. You know, uh, the, the best hugs you get are from children. Yes. They really are. Yes. You know, because sometimes they just will grab your neck and will never release you, and you got to say, hey, <laughs> yeah, you're choking me. <laughs> yeah, but, right. but, but, but it's so true, but it just gives you a sense of security. And you know it gives them a sense of security because they know, you know that 
they love you and, and vice versa. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And Kathy Megan has a Facebook page out there, right? Is it a Prayers the, for Megan yes, Facebook? Yes, it's uh, the Prayer Circle for Megan Nichols okay. is the, the name of it. And, uh, you know, there's mostly just... We're trying to make it where if she was to get curious, Google her name, these things are going to pop up. And yeah. it's, pub, you know, it's not really uh, public, I, I don't suppose. I'm not really sure how you view sure. it. I think you have to be you have approved to be, added. to be on okay, it. Okay, yeah. But um, just if she happens to get on Facebook and see it, she's tagged in most of them. Usually yeah. people put something on there. They okay. go ahead and tag her in it from her Facebook as well. We just want the encouragement, the Bible verses, anything just to let you know, hey, Megan, you're loved. Um, mm-hmm. Let's look at it through her eyes about she may be scared to come home at yeah. this point of, you know, embarrassment. And right. Megan was the good girl. And y- these these things are hard. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. Hmm. It's not the That's end right. of the world. Right. Come That's home. Right. It's going to be all right. You know, we've, right. we've all been down that road. We've all made mistakes that, you know, we're ashamed to see people after making them. I just I pray that whatever chains the enemy has around her that god will just tear those apart yes and, you know lead her home let her know it's okay amen. amen so yes that's on there and we also made that video a few months ago um it's a youtube video but the we just titled it megan nichols oh so okay. if she googles her name that's going to pop up and it is it's a wonderful video it's about 15 minutes long and it's difficult to watch yeah but it's several people who care about her at the just messages to her specifically it was made for her i share it on my facebook almost every day i'm sure mm-hmm. people are tired of looking at it <laughs> but we want it to reach her we yes. want her to see yeah. this and um i didn't tell a lot of people about this when we did the project just because it's 15 minutes long with yeah. a few people i told yeah so yeah. many people love her and would want to be you know, <laughs> it would be a three-hour video yeah. <laughs> and, and that's great that's wonderful yeah. but sure. the video is wonderful and i encourage people to share that and to watch it it's sure. um Amen. It, it'll it'll reach you. It'll Good. touch your heart. We're with That's Kathy good. Jewel Hutchcraft this morning, mother of Megan Nichols. And again, Kathy, tell us about the big event that uh, you're having at First Baptist Church, when it begins, and, and what's going to take place. Okay, well, it's actually starting tonight. If you um, have time between 7 p.m. this evening and 7 p.m. tomorrow, the First Baptist Church in Fairfield will have their sanctuary open for anyone who wants to go in and pray for Megan. They have some papers that have scripture and some ideas of how to specifically pray for Megan, which is a wonderful idea. Mm -hmm. Um, I encourage you guys to go in there. We want prayers going up for her for the the whole 24 hour time period. So that whole night, if you're bored at 11 o'clock tonight, go to First Baptist (laughs) Church and pray for my daughter. I greatly appreciate that. And then at 7 p.m. tomorrow evening, we're going to have a prayer circle and a balloon launch uh, for Megan. And this is going to be not only a time to pray for her and for her safe return, but a time of Thanksgiving and just praising God for getting us through this past year. And we don't have any bad news. We're going to praise him for that. Too. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Kathy, thanks so much for coming in this morning and, and uh, talking about Megan. And uh, again, let's all keep praying. Yes. Let's hold hands, keep praying and, and bring yes. her home. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. I really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you so much for coming in. We're going to come back and continue here in just a few moments. And right now it's time for a moment in God's Word with Max Hooper this morning. And a moment in God's Word with Max Hooper. It's being underwritten by Crawford Plumbing in Woodlawn. Crawford Plumbing, LLC in Woodlawn is...